Okay, so welcome back to Rip's Kit. A bit of a shaky camera because I'm having to hold it. And um, there she is. All packed together. Um, the boom's not fully installed. Um, got to find something to hold it underneath. But apart from the decals, um, everything is back on. Everything that I found in the box of pieces. Uh, there is still a couple of bits that need to be added, but they can be added at a later date. That doesn't actually affect the overall um, what I was going for, basically. So that'll be the adding of the pike poles and the axes. So let's get you in a little bit closer and see how we've done and where we've done it. One moment, I need to change angles. Okay, so with the main boom, we had to totally strip her down. The light wasn't on the top to start with. I, that was found in the bottom of the parts box. Um, she was taken fully apart. Points were updated. Sorry, not updated. Points were redone. Um, Radar was redone. Emergency platform. Now got a light. I couldn't wonder why I had one light left over when I looked in the instructions. Uh, there was a light here, so that was re -chromed. I have replaced the broken part that was in here. The deck gun was taken apart and all painted white. The control unit there was taken off, recalibrated white, and then I made it black. The platform, I need to come down, the platform was removed and repainted. Um, so it goes for screws as well, looking on to the other side. The control um, panel for the boom. Um, as I said before, uh, these, there was only one of these, so I've had to make those quite impressed with how they've come out and they actually hold the cradle that, that side is just hanging off a bit just leave it um two holes here in the side of the deck this side and on that side i uh, couldn't find any reference in the instructions as to why they were there so um, I down the David Parsley on emergency scale models and vehicles. Um, took a paper clip and thought I'd uh, make a hand run off. All of these were working. What wasn't on it before were the ladders. They were just in the boxes. It, that, that was a the nightmare but put all of that back on all decks painted all this is red and um, that was all stripped down all the glass was cleaned uh, fully cleaned and lenses on that spot I got them cleaned oh these lights on the side these are the ones in the kit i haven't done anything with these at the moment they're still as they are this um i have got um spare parts coming from a friend so when these turn up i will retake these off and put fresh ones on there because these are a little bit bashed a bit um the glue that my dad used originally on those has sort of eaten into the plastic and done its worst over time. 
Uh, the bell was broken, so I took the chrome off. So I read down the chrome. Um, I've changed the look of the arrows on the front. I'm looking at a La France fire engine uh, website. It works like this. Black around. So I've changed them up to look like that. Window a bit foggy for some unknown reason. Let me stop this for a moment and we'll change camera again so we can get to the other side. Coming in from the other side, uh, you can see the ladders on this side and their rack. Um, I had to make a piece of this um, whatever thing that stay that holds all the ladders in place. Uh, I had to make a new one of those, so that was made out of a bit of uh, green styrene. I can't remember the scale of it, but it's roughly about the same size as the kit piece that was in there. Um, yeah. Yes, right. Now, you may notice there's a piece of white stick not in here. Now, that's because when I took this apart and had to straighten up this end where it was all out of place, and I've had to straighten this where it was all out of place, you can see there's a slight kink in that. Get the fingers out of the way from there. It's like kinking that pin. This causes issues down this end. I can't get it to stay glued properly, which if my stick wasn't there, this platform would be uh, further up. This one here. So, this is to this piece of plastic here is just to elevate it off the cab roof or away from the cab roof a bit higher so we can have this end in where it should be there's little ram lights on Um, that's it as far as putting this one back together. She is big, she is huge. So, yeah, please, the way she's coming, need to somehow find some tackle somewhere along the line. Um, David. Maybe you can give me a push in the general direction of where I may find the uh, France style decals. By any chance? Thank you for watching. That's it for this one. Um. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this small restoration build. Uh, I'd like to thank my subscribers, appreciating my builds, liking and commenting. I hope you all have a wonderful Halloween weekend and happy mod. See you in the next one. Thank you.